Hey guys, Momo Guru back, and today I'm going to walk you through what the admin cPanel is and how do I get control of it. All right, so one of the first things I'd say, suggest is go ahead and connect to a low-level server, something like Masula Corp. And I've already, you know, kind of prepped this server a little bit so I can keep this video short. And once you connect to Masula Corp, if you open up your G, uh, diagnostics module, you can see I've already beaten most of the components down. It's real. It's going to be a real easy little video here. So just to give you a demonstration of how you get access to the cPanel. And what I'm talking about is this link right here. On the home page of practically every server, you see this admin cPanel link. And it gives you six little areas that you can log into. But whenever you get to one of these areas, using your password cracker doesn't do anything. Using your passcode cracker doesn't do anything. And you can quickly find out that you need to manually enter usernames and passwords in here. However, you know, the only way you're going to get a username and password for one of these servers is to hijack it yourself. So what you're going to need to do to hijack a server is A, connect to it, B, load some attack scripts and take out three components all the way, get it down to disabled, and then on the very last component, you want the final blow, the final hit that finally kills that component to be a hijack script. So you can beat it down a little bit with regular attack scripts, and as it gets close to, to being completely knocked out, you switch up those attack scripts to hijack scripts, and once the server goes down and crashes, which it will then turn red on the GPS, once that server crashes, you'll get an email saying you are now the new administrator of this server. All right, so let's go ahead and demo that right now. Um, I'm going to keep it nice and easy for you. I'm going to manually load up a connection attack, a memory attack, and a processor attack. And this is going to knock out one, two, three of these components right here, the connection memory and CPU. Only leaving the, the last component keeping that server alive is the hard disk. And then for the hard disk, I'm going to attack with some hijack scripts. Now hijack scripts take a long time to run, and they have to be particularly targeted for that component. I can't load a connection hijack script and expect it to take out the hard disk. All right, so I'm going to load up a few of these. They're going to take a while to run. Now, you'll notice I don't have any trace started, nothing's happened yet, but as soon as this volley of attacks hits that server, not only is the server going to start attacking me back, but it's going to activate a trace. And you'll see once that happens. Okay, so we've knocked out the connection, we've knocked out the memory, we're about to knock out the CPU, there we go, I've got 220 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and start my trace delay program just to keep me alive here longer. And now we wait. Now, more skilled players will disconnect at this point to stop that trace, then they'll reconnect and load just the hard disk or whatever hijack scripts they need and then take out that final component. And what this does is prevents that trace from counting down while these uh, hijack scripts are, are executing. Alright, so you can see we only got a little bit of health bar here and if you want to know exactly the number of points they have, you just type in a little net.health and you can see we've got 47 hit points left on the hard disk. Alright, you can see that the computer is attacking me back I don't have any shields running, so this damage is going right into my hardware. And if you open up your hardware, you can see I'm sustaining a little bit of damage. And to offset some of that damage, I'm going to unload these attack scripts that I no longer need and start popping on a few repair scripts. And then that way, it'll repair whatever little damage I'm sustaining from the server. And we'll get the hard disk one. All right, so now I've got four repair scripts running. It'll heal myself up here. These hijack scripts are a little more than halfway, which means I'm getting close to taking down the server. All right. Once the server goes down, I won't be able to connect to it any longer. And you'll notice on the GPS map, looking at the global view, here we've got a, 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 an example of Infotronics. Someone took Infotronics down. I can't connect to it now. So if I'm running missions on Infotronics, then I'm going to have a problem. But like I said, these, these satnets will boot themselves back up. The default satnet comes up every hour on the hour. And the other satnets are, are based on different times. Um, kind of spread out on their difficulty. You've got ones that do every 12 hours, ones that do every 8 hours, and so on. All right, the hijack scripts are about to execute. You can see I've got one attack went through. Another attack went through. I've got two more. Come on, let's take it out. I don't want to wait. And there we go. I took it out. So you'll see the rest of these scripts are just going to fail. I've already healed up my hardware pretty much. I think I got a little bit left on memory and a little left on disk. So I'm just going to leave those running. I can stop these hard disk hijacks. Don't need that anymore. I'll leave my script running that's repairing my hard drive. All right, so I've now taken out the server. I can hop over here into my email and look at that. I've got a report and it says my hijack script was successful and it's now giving me the username and the password for Masula Corp. So let's take a look at what we can do with that. 
So I'm going to jump back into the GPS module, and lo and behold, Masula Corp is not accessible. Well, luckily for me, I can boot this up right now for purposes of this video. And just like magic, Masula Corp is back up and ready for us to test out our new cPanel access. So let's go ahead and jump into Masula Corp. And once we connect, now we can go to that cPanel login area. And that master password will work for every single area here. But more importantly, most players want this one, which is the admin login. So we're going to go ahead and open up our email. And we grab the username, just paste that in, and we grab the password, and we paste that in. All right, now we've got access granted, and this takes us into a special area of the server. It's wiped all previous accounts, and I am the only, here's the master administrator with 11 permissions on everything. I'm going to add a new account, and I'm going to create something for guests. So that rather than them trying to take the, the ownership of the server away from me, if I create them a guest account, then in most cases, they'll leave me alone. And I create the guest account. You can go ahead and do one of these if you want, but really all you need is that admin. And what this does is it sets all of, all of the permissions to 10. Now, once the account is created, then other players can now log in by typing guests and the password 12345. Now, if I only want to set access to certain areas of the server, I can go and say, well, I'll give you a username and password that has chat access and has proxy access. It can access the files and the logs, but it cannot create accounts or delete accounts. All right, but we're not going to do that. So let's take a look at what's in here. You can see that I can, from this login, I can jump right to the log files, and I have no trace. I am literally sitting here looking at the log files on a server, and I'm not being traced. So I can easily remove whatever logs I need to remove. And you can see I've got one right there. Let's go ahead and take that off. And it just keeps it nice and easy for us. Now, if I start navigating around and I bounce back to the manager home, well, we might run into a problem. And you can see now that a trace has started. So I've got 250 seconds, but I'm right here on the manager home page. I didn't have to worry about wasting all of that time during those traces to crack those various different things. We'll jump back to the admin C panel. Let's go ahead and paste that password in. Let's paste our admin in, and let's take a look here. Let's show you some other stuff you can get to. All right, so we've got bank account access. So you can jump into the bank accounts panel. You're going to have to crack that. You also have a profile database, which you're going to have to crack into. Those are for the database missions. You have research database. You have the manager area, which started the trace on us, access to the log files, access to the private chat room, and Masulu Corp has a very special link that's still under development. It is the super admin C panel that will let you do even cooler stuff. And using the same username and password, we got an admin, and we got our password right here. I can actually repair the server from the server. So you see I've got a hardware manager. I can go through here and, and start repair processes on the server without having to use my repair scripts in any way. So this is going to be a, a fundamental key when players are trying to protect the server from other players who are trying to hijack it. Um, a news manager. So you'll be able to go in here and edit news files and things of that nature. And like I said, a lot of this is still under development. So Masula Corp is the only server that has the super admin C panel. Let's go ahead and close that. And you can see we're going to have a log manager, a crimes report, bank accounts where you can view various bank accounts that are on that server, and you can log out back to the master cPanel. All right, so that's just basically a run through on how you crash a server and how you hijack a server. The only difference between the two really is that the final blow is delivered with a hijack script rather than an attack script. All right, guys, let me go ahead and disconnect here from Asula's. I hope you uh, found this tutorial helpful and I'll be doing a whole bunch more this month, so stay tuned. All right, guys, have fun and see you in game.